And then it's gonna be boom plus boom plus boom. That is a pretty good turn four play. That's a pretty good turn four play. If I can find Bestial Madness or Observer of Myths, this hand is nuts. I think I only keep two. I don't think I keep the other two. I think keeping three eggs is greedy, especially without any like support. Oh, wow. I mean, kind of nuts, but also not great. I think I go two one threes. Oh! We found it. They love a little fiddle. And then this is also finale. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay. We need to just flood the board. If we can flood the board, we can make them not able to play the game. Oh God, are you gonna kill it off? Wow, is that your turn? I'm okay if that's your turn. I'm happy if that's your turn actually. Ooh, the buzzard, baby. Actually better. Actually better. Actually way better. We play this and this next turn on turn three um, to pump up more stuff, I think. Because, it, uh, I mean, I don't know. It, it, I get rid of some pumps if I do it that way. I get rid of some pumps if I do it that way. Look at this chief deck, only six legendaries. It's, first of all, five legendaries. Okay, first of all. Second of all. Really? Another bestial madness? Boom, go face. I'll play this next turn with another bestial madness, but I want the buzzard to die so I can actually draw cards and play more minions. Okay, okay, they're just gonna commit to the board here, it looks like. I, mean, I think that's a bit risky. Especially depending on what ends up dying here. Oh no. They have at least one more cheap spell. Stop hitting my face! Actually, no, keep hitting my face. Or hit the one, two. Or hit the two, three. Ah, it summons me a three, three. I'm actually okay with that. That can actually do damage. This doesn't die regardless, so I actually think it's probably worth it to just... Five kills this, two kills that, or three kills that. They don't have that many cards left in their hands. I feel relatively confident here. I'm not gonna lie to you. This has five attack now, which is even better. It can kill off the blind eye sharpshooter immediately. I got pretty lucky with, with where they hit with their sharpshooter, actually. But if it had killed the buzzard, I would have just killed it with the twisting frostwing anyways. Like, I covered all my bases. I mean, if I top deck Spurfang, or if I get it off of this, that's crazy. It draws a beast, so we're guaranteed to not get you, you, or you, or you. It'll always give us something good here. Oh? And they kill the buzzard to stop five damage, that makes sense. We get the skeleton. Not the card I wanted there, unfortunately. I mean, I, I, I want to play this, but I also need to use it for the rush later, so let's just do that. Like, I wanted to play this, and then turn six is this and that, but I need to play this for the rush to kill off the other Blind Eye Sharpshooter, basically. Another Buzzard would have been okay. I could have gone Buzzard Rancher instead. Okay, how hard do they pop off? Can they pop off this turn? Momentum, okay. They're playing spells. They still haven't found their second... Blind Eye Sharpshooter, so that bodes well for me. Oh, they're just gonna go face. Oh, they don't care, actually. Holy shit. The Yelling Yodeler? Summoning three threes? If I play the Yelling Yodeler, they leave more damage on the board, and I'm at 10, even though this will soak up more damage. So I think I have to do this and set up lethal over the next two turns. I think I lose, but I had to do that. I kill him next turn. That was close. If they don't have the blind eye sharpshooter, I win. If they have a second one, it's possible I lose, I'm but... Not away my shot. How? 
How do you have both of them in your first 15 cards? Just don't go face that much, please. I just need to not die. As literally, as long as I don't die, you know, I don't, I don't even look. I don't want to look at what happens. I'm going to get up. I'm going to leave. I'll come back in about 30 seconds after the turn is done. Hopefully, I've soaked up a ton of damage. I don't know. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. Thank goodness. Wow, okay. Jeez, Louise. <laughs> what? What? Uh, we need more early game. We need to just fight for the board early, I think. Uh, I would like a one drop. I would very much like a one drop. Sneaky snakes, pretty good. I will take it. We will take those. We will fight for the board. When he stat swap and changed the whole tempo, but it wasn't the biggest play ever. No, no, no. The thing that happened was Astalor just didn't hit. Like, he did six damage to one minion, six damage to another minion, one damage to Malagos, and one damage to his face. If I had done one more damage face, I literally win the game. <laughs> and then Arumian Egg's interesting, but I don't really have a way to capitalize on it right now, so I'm going to play Astalor. So I have a minion out there. I'll double trade too. I don't want him to play like Putricide and somehow get insane value off of the coin or something. But no, it 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 wasn't um oh that's a serrated bone spike gone. I'm okay with that. Fuck. Well that makes it very difficult to play the rancher now. Do I still play it? Because if he has deal, he has to have specifically destroy a minion, which he might have chosen, but if he chose deal three damage, it's not gonna be enough to kill it. Never mind, it's enough. Oh, wait, no! Hold on, he has to randomly generate something. If he randomly generates it, he's chilling, but if not, we're in the clear. Oh my gosh, I don't think it dies. Alright, we play the uh, the Frostwing, rush into that, it lives, go face with the 2-5, and then turn 5, we'll play this and this if this ends up living. If not, we'll probably just play like Astalor to just get a 5-5 five five out there. But I... no. Fuck off, really? Wait, what? You randomly got that from Mixed Concoction? There's no way, man. I'll kill that off, play the Skeleton, I guess. It's not that bad. It stays alive, we get to play the, uh, the Skeleton. It becomes a 4-4, four, four, so it'll resummon another 3-3, three, three, which isn't bad. It's just not optimal. I can't believe they randomly generated Pocket Sand. Which not only did damage to my minion, but it was also quick draw and made my thing off. Oh, don't be divine, don't be divine, don't be divine, don't be divine, don't be divine. Okay, good. Do I wanna play a 5-5 five five, or do I wanna flood the board and go wide? I think I would rather go wide because if he plays the the one that like targets randomly there's a 50% chance to hit the wrong thing I'd rather it hit like a 1-1 and have it be a useless turn The real tilt starts when you lose a game for reasons out of your control. No. Yeah, you should have seen I played I played I was playing ogre the other day And I I or not the other day I was literally playing it today uh, and I missed I think quite literally every Single time for seven times the odds of that happening 
were 0.8%. I had a 0.8% chance to lose the game. Um, but we play you. Do we want to go for taunt here or do we want to just go for damage? Because he could go lifesteal soon. I think I'd rather go taunt to just mess him up a little bit. It makes it harder for him to kill this. So we'll oh, taunt. We'll hit face. We'll go with these. I don't care about the 3-6. In fact, I kind of don't want it to die. Because if it dies, he can resummon it with the uh, the kingpin pud. So. Oh, 0.8%. Not an 8%. Did I say 8? I meant to say 0.8%. We, we did the math. It was point. It was... 50% to the power of 7, which ends up being 0.78%. 0.78% chance to lose. That's crazy. <laughs> That's fine. I get a 3-3 out of it. It's not the best thing in the world, but it's fine. This rushes here. This goes here. This goes face. We get extra damage. Actually, this hurts if, if he plays the kingpin. No, I need to attack. Wait, holy shit. How much damage do I have here? I don't have lethal. That's my bad. Okay, so deal. Five damage face. That has to happen. This has to happen. Hero power has to happen. We're not quite there yet. But if I play the egg, there's a chance it summons a minion. Arguably, I play two four ones, and that's more overall damage because he's gonna heal up anyway. I think I play two four ones. I have to play two four ones. I need to flood the board because if he plays Kingpin, and then Shadow steps it, and he gets Life Steal, and it, and it gets Life Steal first, I lose. So we have to do this. If he doesn't have Kingpin, I can still win. He's got first of all a one third chance to have him. Second of all, oh, damn. He summons three things, but if I have this many minions, odds are a couple of them live. And if the 3-6 three, 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 win fury gives him attack instead, that's extra good for me. No! That's pretty lame, but I think he gets it. Oh my gosh, he didn't. I think I, okay, then I just win. Oh, it's serrated. Fuck! He can still play it. Oh my gosh. If it's lifesteal. Okay, if it was lifesteal, I think I still win though. Okay, that was close. Hmm. So we go, tre oh my God, this is a good hand. We play this turn one, this turn two, turn three. We play all of the four ones regardless to apply as much pressure as possible. But if the messenger buzzer dies, they're all five twos, which is insane. And the egg doesn't apply any pressure anyway, so it's not even that big of a deal. Well met, Mainlander. Oh my goodness gracious. We play you, and then turn three we dump. Turn four, we play. Our gift of the arcane okay, so it's guaranteed to die. He does get to guaranteed kill off one of the thingamabobs, though, which isn't great. But I'll play one, two, three, coin out this as well. That is my turn three play. He does get to kill off two of them, but it will be at the cost of his whole board. Oh my gosh, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's a world where this is better. It's a very greedy world. But this could possibly be insane. And then we go one, two, three, coin this. I'm okay with that. But I definitely think that it has potential. I'm okay with that. Sure, buddy. Sure, 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 sure thing. This goes here, and then it's gonna be boom, plus boom, plus boom. And then I kinda wanna coin out this. <laughs> coin out in a ruby and egg. That is a pretty good turn four play. That's a pretty good turn four play. Turn five, it's gonna be this plus this. 
and then turn six, it'll be like this plus this, or this plus this. I'm not 100% sure yet. I mean, you can kill off a cone. No. Oh, this is gonna get very bad very quickly, I think. Actually, there is a world where I can win next turn if he doesn't kill anything, if he decides to just go face. He's probably gonna kill off a 6-3, so I'm not planning on winning, but there is a chance that I do still win. Okay, it's fine. 17 damage plus egg. I could have gone snake, but I do want room to play the Observer of Myths, I guess. I could have done a maximum of six more damage to get him to seven. He plays the dragon here. That summons a bunch of other dragons, but that's only going to give him a maximum four taunt dragons. Which is good. It could also be Fey. Fey would be mm, possibly problematic. What the fuck? Prison of Yogg? Goodness gracious. Shooting star. No! Okay. Deal a damage to it. It's a little rude. Emulate doesn't really matter. Asphyxiate. Okay. Yeah, they're dead. Okay. I mean, even if he wiped my board, these things stay alive. Or they summon new things, which still gives me lethal. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think here. Do I want to keep Bestial Madness? I think it's a good card. I think it's a very good card, actually. But I don't actually know if I want to play it right away. What I might want to do, actually, is play this on turn one. Coin this out turn two. And then turn three, play this. Oh, wow. That's actually really good. And this is really good. Okay. Do I coin out the rancher? I mean, if I can get the rancher to stick on the board and I can play a couple of things, that's insane. I coin it out and kill this so they can't reverb it and then hit it. We play this next turn, it becomes a 5-5 five, five that resummons. Turn four, we'll go boom, boom. Turn six, we go boom. No, they're gonna play objection. You're kidding. Oh, it's okay. Does this count as a beast being summoned if... Well, we'll test out for another secret first. It's objection, but it's fine. Oh? And then explosive runes, but it summons again with a 3-3 three, three, and a 1-1, one, one, which actually isn't bad at all. And then if this lives, I'll play these things next turn. I don't know if I want to play both, but I'll play at least one. Eh, we probably just play both and run them into the face. Just just run at them. Guess who? Okay. I mean, they get to draw two secrets, which is definitely a bummer, but like... If I just flood the- what on earth? Hello? Blizzard? What the fuck? <laughs> I mean... This... I don't want to trade is the thing. But I... They've already drawn all their secrets. Like, this doesn't matter anymore. But I think this is best. At least that. Then we go boom. And then I think you go face. Maybe we can kill off one of them. I mean, it would play around reverb, right? To trade in here. Hands off the feathers. If we trade, it would play around reverb. But I think that this is just too much damage to pass up. I'll kill off the golden one. That way, it, he can't kill this off, technically. Like, he'll have to ping it or whatever. Which is, I guess, okay. Then next turn, we bait out objection with this, and then we play this. Or if they don't play a secret, we just play um, Spurfang. I don't know if I made the right call there. Because we know that they have two objections, but I'm, I'm assuming that they... Uh, they're probably going the build with six secrets, I would assume. Now, because it was explosive runes, which is my bad. It's gonna be objection, we bait it out with Foul Egg, and then we play the Yodeler on the... 4-3. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Boom. We get two of them, we just keep going face here. 
it's pretty good. If they play a couple more secrets, I don't care. If they play Objection, I'll bait it out with Astalor, because I think you're better. You okay. You pretty decent hits, but it's not enough. They can kill off the 4-3, but they don't have mana to do anything else. When this deck goes crazy, it goes crazy, let me tell you. <laughs> 